Have you ever wondered why pencils are never made of glass or rubber? Why are objects made of certain materials and not others? Well, you see, different materials have different mechanical properties. A mechanical property determines how a material will react when it is subjected to one or more mechanical constraints. So examples of properties that different materials might have are hardness, elasticity, ductility, malleability, and tensile strength. Now, when we think of something that's hard, we think of it as something that's not easily deformed, meaning it can withstand certain kinds of constraints. The thing is, even hard objects do get deformed, but on such a tiny, tiny, tiny scale that it reacts to that pressure force by elastic deformation, meaning that that deformation is very, very temporary and it resumes its shape as it was. Hardness is something that essentially resists penetration. So you might recognize this character, Katniss, from the movie The Hunger Games. Now notice that she is holding a bow and arrow. Do you know what the materials for that bow are? And why would they choose those materials? Well, the thing is, the mechanical property of that material is elasticity. It regains its initial shape. It would be disastrous if you had a bow and arrow that totally fell apart every time you used it. Elasticity reacts to forces by elastic deformation. There are a lot of materials that are hard, materials that are resilient, and then you've got objects that have both properties. Yes, objects can have several mechanical properties. It's often hard to confuse resilience and hardness, but to specify, hardness is something that resists penetration. Resilience resists physical impacts, meaning things that physically hit it or it falling down to the ground. It reacts to temporary force by elastic deformation. It's resilient. You just bounce back. I often think of this as an analogy with a resilient person, someone who has gone through really tough, painful times, but can just bounce back onto their two feet. If you like jewelry, you're probably wearing materials that have the mechanical property of ductility. Ductility means something stretching without breaking. You have an example here of long copper wires that can be stretched into whatever shape you want them to be. And here's an example of a bracelet. Now, ductile materials react to tension force by plastic deformation. They are permanently changed in their shape, but they're still in one piece. Malleability is not to be confused with ductility. Ductility is something that can be stretched. Malleability is something that can be flattened or bended without breaking. Here's an example of metal strips. It reacts to bending or compression forces by plastic deformation as well, meaning that its shape is permanently changed. One thing many gymnasts cannot live without is tensile strength. Tensile strength can be found in things such as ropes. It resists tension without becoming permanently deformed. It reacts to tension force by elastic deformation, meaning that it resumes its original shape or length. So as a summary, here is a table of all the properties we covered in this lesson. You can look all around you and find objects can have more than one of these properties. Let's take a moment and analyze the properties found on the materials for a cell phone. But let's see. Elasticity. If you stretch it, will it resume its shape? Probably not. Um, is, it, is it hard? If you press really hard on it, will you make an indent in it? Nope. It's, it's considered hard. Is it resilient? If it falls to the ground, will it survive? Some phones are better than others in this regard, so you'll have to judge. Is it ductile? Can you stretch it without breaking it? It's kind of hard to stretch a cell phone. Is it malleable? Do you want to flatten or bend it? Probably not. <laughs> Does it have tensile strength? Well, if you pull on both ends of your phone, you could say it has a bit of tensile strength because it doesn't stretch and it doesn't permanently deform. That's all for now. See you next time.